James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is July 11th, 2023, 1.30 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. In breaking news, we've just had our third, much stronger M-Class solar flare. NOAA is covering it as a M6.74 magnitude solar flare. And actually, NASA is carrying it as an M6.83 solar flare. Now, we've just had an M1.1 here. Prior to that, an M1.9. Those were both generated by Sunspot AR3372. That information has just come available. We're not quite sure where this solar flare came from, but I'm sure we'll be able to see it on GOES shortly. So we know the first two M flares of the day, the 1.9 and the 1.1, both originated from Sunspot AR3372. The problem is, is so far, that's an unnamed sunspot. I'm guessing it's this sunspot right here cresting our limb. We'll take a look at GOES and STO so we can see if we can figure out what's going on. Heading over to GOES, Solar Ultraviolet Imager, 195 angstroms, we can see the large M flare, the M6.8. Looks like it's directly earth facing, although it's just coming around the limb here. You can see it pop off right there. So it appears that all three M flares today originated, although earlier we thought this might be the culprit, from Sunspot AR3372, which may be officially named, but the information has not been released to the public via NOAA or NASA. We're running the highest baseline flare I have ever seen. And you can see, these are both all C spikes. Then we hit an M spike. It's the one we covered earlier, right? Almost in the dead center of the Atlantic Ocean. After that, we've had two additional M flares, believe it or not. That is probably one right there covering most of the Caribbean based on the timing. So now moving into the M6.8 solar flare directly over the United States. My internet is on and off currently. Look at the radio alternation here. A direct hit over all of North America and parts of the Caribbean, if not all of the Caribbean, in the northern part of South America. Of course, Central America is part of North America. This was a very strong solar flare. We see that the impact was right around 1810, or the maximum of the impact was right around 1810. And again, this is the third M flare of the day, an M6.8 magnitude solar flare. Now, all of these probably came from the same sunspot, newly in play, sunspot AR3372. We'll take a look at STO and see if any of these are visible yet. It's going to be, well, easier to see the first two than this stronger third flare. After the first flare, we guess that that was the action, but everything's actually coming from the limb over here and this is going to be the sunspot coming around the new sunspot AR3372 you can see the plasma arcs there and the explosions extremely active you saw the last explosion probably not the strongest one that we just saw probably one of the previous M flares all that action might be easier to see over here at 171 angstroms Look at the action involved with this sunspot group. Wow, that might have been the larger flare there at the end. 
So Houston, we have a problem. One sunspot coming around the limb has ejected three M-class solar flares in about four or five hours. Got to keep our eyes peeled on that sunspot group. Right now, it's really not visible, but by tonight, when we do our space weather update, we should be able to get some very good looks at what the complexity is and what that sunspot group looks like. With that said, God bless you and yours. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.